My name is Tavuli Antigoni and I have a Bachelor of Law from the Democritus University of Thrace in Greece. Hi, I'm Ryan and I'm finishing my Bachelor degree in Industrial Design Engineering. Hello, my name is Evelina. I come from Sweden. Hello, my name is Nick Theodoropoulos. I come from Greece. Hello, my name is uh, David Schnadelmann. I'm a professor for economics at the University of Bayreuth in Germany. Uh, and I'm heading to summer school this year for the Academia Engelberg. My background is in economics. So I have a master's degree in economics from Lund University in the south of Sweden. And uh, I came to this summer school to discuss future economic systems with other students from different disciplines and from all around the world. I study there international and European economics. I just finished. Next year I will be attending a London School of Economics, studying political economy. Soon in September I will enroll in a Master's in Economics at the Nova School of Business and Economics in Lisbon, Portugal. I am preparing myself for the interest examination about the Master of Criminal Law and now I'm a trainee lawyer of Athens Bar Association. This summer school consists of youth scientists from different countries and different domains in order to exchange opinions, have a constructive dialogue and finally come to an interesting and applicable solution. First, since both my academic interests and my academic background are political science, economics and international relations, there could be no better choice for me than attending a conference and a summer school, firstly, that is now, uh, about future economic systems. Why? The first reason is that uh, I would be able to communicate and interact with people that have uh, the same interests and uh, vision with me uh, and want to learn more about future economic systems. This summer school gives me the opportunity to exchange opinions with uh, students from other countries and uh, from different domains. My foremost motivation to engage in the, uh, to, to enroll in the summer school uh, of Academia Engelberg is actually to engage in a transdisciplinary dialogue uh, with people coming from other uh, disciplinary backgrounds. Coming from the engineering background, I believe we should discuss scientific and technological progress within the context of a societal and economic framework. The Academia Engelberg Summer School is the perfect opportunity to find a common language between all disciplines and actually find maybe new economic solutions for our society. Moreover, uh, it gives me the opportunity to, and, the, and the chance to actually understand better the, the actual economic systems and prepare myself for my master's degree. At a glance, I don't deal with economics officially. But we shouldn't ignore that economics are correlated with all the other sectors of our daily routine and define them. So that's why I wanted so much to participate in this summer school. It would be a good chance for me uh, to participate in the conference uh, that will be organized in October and uh, to give a speech there. So I will improve my skills through the conference. And I think it's the perfect complement to the summer school, as it allows an interdisciplinary um, dialogue, yes, as the summer school, but also an intergenerational dialogue. For us students, uh, it is important to actually discuss challenging and complex issues with political and academic business leaders, and not only with our peers. I would enrich my knowledge and uh, the economic perspective and gain a better uh, you know, view about future economic systems uh, through discussion, uh, teamwork, presentations, uh, which I, have, I found uh, very interesting. And uh, finally, it would uh, be an amazing chance to gain experience, study economics, travel to, Switzer to Switzerland, that I have never been here again. Also, attend uh, a meeting with uh, different cultures and people from uh, different parts of Europe and even far. At the end, we should know that uh, the suitable legislation will make an economic system to take shape and be developed 
In other words, the legislation constitutes the requirement, the condition for an economic system to exist. Thank you. What's interesting and what we are working on is we are working on economic systems and we try to find four solutions for common problems that emerge in economic systems. One is uh, with increasing income we will tend to become more and more mobile and of course this generates uh, externalities so it has costs uh, of becoming mobile and we think about solutions how we can internalize such costs. We are also thinking of new systems of governance. How can we make central banks, for example, more responsible, more trustworthy, etc. One idea there is to introduce democracy also for electing central bank governors. Uh, we are thinking about potential issues of inequality and then we, how we can solve problems related to inequality. Uh, we are discussing, for example, universal basic income and we have alternatives to that. So the young people together with me, we are trying to provide, well, not revolutions of course, but some potential reforms which could enhance our economic systems and make us richer in the future and make us more happy and more successful in the future. And uh, we hope that we will be successful with that.